in today's video we're going to be discussing elastin and uh, in the following video we're going to be discussing alpha 1 antitrypsin and that's just a follow up on elastin uh, okay but let's start with uh, elastin itself so from what we know already it's a connective tissue protein and it has rubber like properties and with elastin the way it's formed is it combines with other glycoprotein microfibrils and then they form these elastic fibers and you can find these elastic fibers in the lungs the walls of certain large arteries and also in elastic ligaments as well so how is elastin made what is the biosynthesis of elastin so elastin is synthesized from something which is known as tropoelastin and I don't want to go too much into how tropoelastin is synthesized because it goes beyond the scope of most specifications and syllabuses so from what we know well from what I'm gonna say now tropoelastin is uh, basically just secreted from the cell that's all we really need to know at the moment I can make a separate video later on but from now for now sorry we just need to know um, that it's secreted from the cell and it's a linear polypeptide and it's got a lot of proline and lysine in and it doesn't have as much hydroxyproline and hydroxylysine uh, in the last video we talked about collagen and how collagen is rich in hydroxyproline and hydroxylysine and it has small amounts of proline and lysine because they're hydroxylated when it's being synthesized but elastin is rich in proline and lysine and it has little amounts of hydroxyproline and lysine so as we were saying tropoelastin is secreted from the cell into the extracellular space and then tropoelastin is attached onto a specific glycoprotein microfibril uh, and for example that can be fibrillin so it's deposited and attached onto it then the lysyl side chains of tropoelastin are oxidatively deaminated by lysyl oxidases and it forms lysine residues okay so the lysyl side chains are basically converted into lysine residues by the enzyme lysyl oxidase okay and then what happens is going on from here three of the lysyl side chains which have been oxidized via the enzyme from lysyl the lysyl side chains three of these lysyl side chains and one unaltered lysyl side chain from the same or neighboring tropoelastin forms this cross link so they join together and they cross over and form a sort of cross link and then this results in uh, mature elastin fibers okay um, I hope this video has been useful in the next video we're going to be discussing alpha 1 antitrypsin and thanks for watching